Alright everyone, new spot. I've never been here before. There's a set coming through, so it doesn't look as good right now. But when the sets stop, it's like this beautiful calm water behind me. Shoulders a bit sore. Hiked here, took a tumble. I thought that was the end of the trip, but I think I'm alright. Great big drop off into the water down there, and I need to figure out how I'm going to land a big fish if I hook one, which is where this guy comes in, Clifka. But also, there's like some ledges down there that are in my way, so I'm going to set up my ropes and I'm going to start fishing them. Hopefully, we can get something good for dinner, and then I want to camp out here for the night somewhere. Plenty of firewood around, plenty of dead, dry stuff laying around, and I'll find a little posse to crawl into and go to sleep. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's get set up and let's start fishing what it's all about fishing those spots that nobody else can well, i mean someone could probably fish it but if they fell they'd die you slip you're dead okay i got a bit of an anchor built there and now i'm going to go down and um i know where i want to get fish so i'm just going to go down and see See what it's like. Get my gaff down there. I want to get some burly in the water too. It's kind of scary that that coming over the edge there where if that fails what I put in those things, I'm there's nothing to stop me from just sailing off into the drink. Anyway, it's all good. I haven't tied a knot in my rope either because it, it will reach to the water. People tell me quite often tie a knot in the end of your rope, but when it's that long. You really don't need to. You're going to end up in the drink before you abseil off the end of your line. So what's the point? Um, probably put my cliff gap on the end of that. And we can place it. And I can cast from up here. I can fish up here. And if I get something big, I just come lean out and go, ah! So cliff gaff line on the end of that. I was place a highly questionable cam in here. What are we going to go for? It's too big. It certainly wasn't good. Yes, mate. Will you fit? Yep. Sounds a bit hollow, but hey, it fits. If it fits, it fits. So we're just going to do that. They'll just keep. Uh, that'll be my burly, uh, my cliff gaff line. There. Oh, what have I caught? You got to be kidding me. Would you have a go at that? I caught a herring on that. I'm gonna keep him for bait. I've got some crabs in a bag down there that I collected. Well, those ones got collected a few days ago and I have a few fresher ones that I just got last night. But we'll use up the older ones first. Um, we'll just unclip that. I'm nice and dodgy and I like to just clip the three-way swivel straight onto the access swivel. Um, it just means I don't have to be cutting lines. I get sick of cutting and changing. So let's get, oh gross, that is so manky. Straight in the hole. The griper hole. Oh, my shoulder. All right, so we have a fresh bag of crabs just here that I collected last night instead. So they look much better. And hopefully that improves my chances.
Anyway, let's see if we can get a fish. Gonna go a whole crab this time. And it's a bit of a soft one. The hook's sharp, so we should be able to catch a fish. Whoa, I hate freaking standing on ropes. I do it all the time though. That's better. Couple of good bites in that. Will they turn out to be a groper or just some big grass or something? Which, well, a groper. Oh, yeah, that's a groper. It's gotta be. Uh, it's not a very big one. I probably could almost winch this one. Oh, mate. That thing gave me some go for your size. Alright, we finally caught a fish, took a few hours, that is a nice size, quite a small western blue groper really, um, like 5 kilos, that's going to be dinner. Um, we might fish a bit longer here, I'm not sure. It's always a bit of a challenge to find a nice flat spot to fill out a fish in the field, but this looks reasonable so we'll give this a go. Anyway, how's that? It's a beautiful looking fillet. Right there. And my shoulder is hurting me. <laughs> Get a grope of slime in your mouth. Alright, now that I've finally got a fish for dinner, I actually want to move. I saw a better looking ledge, well not better, but an easier looking ledge to fish on the way here. See, I'm going to do it in two loads because I stacked it on the way here and hurt my shoulder and I think I'm just going to take everything in my backpack leave the rods and the reels rod and reel that's on leave the fish leave the cooler bag and we'll come back and get them after I'm ready to get down. You should have seen me going down with my big backpack before. Kind of easy because it's only one thing, but also awkward at the end. Well, thought that was going to keep going for a second then. I'm definitely hauling everything out on a rope because this sucks. Alright, let's put this on. We'll just bring this down. Move me. That's not bad. That's alright. And then... I don't know what I want to do here. Oh, yes, good. My fingers held. Even though I haven't climbed in ages. Oh! We made it. 
Oh, what a mission. I don't know where I want to sleep. Maybe on this rock or something. I'm going to try fishing from here instead. It's dry, a bit safer, and um, she'll be right. I'll get some gear in. I don't know how much fishing I'm actually going to get done because it's going to get dark soon. Right, I'm getting cold. Let's go get the fire going. Bait has been picked off and we will cook up a feed. Party farm, let's get it going. Fire. Once that all burns down, we have a nice bit of coals. It's gonna happen. There we go. That is a chunk and a half. Why must you get me smoke? Seriously. Oh. Doesn't matter where you sit, that smoke's gonna find you. Find your eyeballs. It's nice to add the chicken. Whatever that means. I reckon that looks like chicken to me. It's right for chicken. Fishy, fishy chicken goodness. Get that in there. Eat your vegetables, kids. Even if they taste a little bit like rock slime. They're still good here. I forgot a lemon. Can you believe it? Carry enough stuff out here and I forget a lemon. Cooking up milk. That thing is absolutely loaded. And I'm gonna add more to it. But I wanna add some rice. I don't ever know if I'm gonna be able to eat all this. Garlic pan. All right, good morning. Tell you what, those stars last night were incredible. I um, I tried to do an all night time lapse, but the stupid battery here, for whatever reason, didn't want to charge my um, camera the first time around. Maybe the thing I'd plugged it into, the USB was not working. Anyway, I got up and I checked it in the middle of the night and it, the phone had, I mean, the camera had just gone flat, so I plugged it into the other one and then I, Got up another time, and then I got up another time and started again before sunrise, so. Anyway, you guys would have seen some of it. It was like clear skies, no moon, stars everywhere. I'm gonna get ready, I'm gonna chuck a line in, and um, I'm not gonna fish for very long this morning, just maybe one hour, and then I'm gonna pack up and head, because I need to, need to get home at a reasonable hour, so.
got something, I think. It's not very big, actually. Little brake see? Yeah, nice. That's all right. I thought I was feeling some slightly better bikes. So, this guy, if his size, I think that size, is a good fish to take home. There we go. Beautiful little brake sea cod. Um, one of the best eating fish around, probably. And we'll keep it. Chuck it to the side. See if we can catch another one. Or something bigger. A bigger one. Or something else. Whatever. Let's catch something. Whatever. That's a bit better. What is this? Big head shakes on it. I don't want to get it up above that reef there. What do we got? What is it? Far out. Is that a silver drummer? Crappiest fish in the ocean. Oh, it's a big one too. I thought it could have been a snapper. Look at that pork chop. Look at that big fat pork chop. Oh, the locals will have a laugh at this. That is a fat one, eh? <laughs> oh, dear me. I've not caught one of these things in years. You see them all the time on the reefs. Normally a vegetable eater. Here's a solid chunk. I'm gonna go chuck him back, he's heavy. Doesn't feel like a, uh, one of those crappy things. Break sea card, good. This one's a better size. There we go, another nice size break sea card. A little bit bigger than the last one, so we'll put this one aside. I'm gonna have a couple of fish to take home. All right, I'm done. I got a um, grope yesterday, two break sea cod today. Massive silver drummer. <laughs> that was the prize catch of the trip. Not really, but something different. I'm gonna pack everything up and I'll probably climb out the crack with a rope and then pull my bag up afterwards. That is my plan of attack. Thanks heaps for watching everyone. We'll see you guys on the next adventure. And um, yeah, cheers, see ya.